at 5 p.m. My wife looked at me one day and out of the blue and said, we're moving to Vermont. <laughs> Here we are. So we're called to order. And just remember, this is a site visit, so we can't take any testimony. We're just here to look. You mean we can't talk about it? We can talk about it, but we can't, like, make decisions or take official testimony for the record. But we can talk to each other. Right. We can talk as we're looking. We so work. We can say things like, this sucks. Or you know, this is on. Okay. <laughs> is there a car coming, you said? I thought I heard one. Maybe it's, maybe it was on. All right. Well, let's get started. I thought Alfred was joining us, but I don't see him. So it looks like he's Mark. It out. Mark it. Now this doesn't have any. There's no official recognition of this is where Chapin Forest is. Am I correct? There's no sign that no sign. that anybody's ever not put yet. up. No, not fact, as far as we know. Quite not, the contrary, I, there's I'm private. Expert, it just says private trespassing. Now, okay. Because it says no trespassing or something. It says no trespassing. My right? This is kind of a property line, right. and so right. the right side of the road this is, is the town forest here. Property. That's the town forest. The left side is on the left side. Um, it's, as far as I know, it's start like the corner is here somewhere, and it's just this side of the road. Okay. So it's just the left side of the road. Yeah. 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 I think that's right. I believe you're right. I know it's on the left side. So. So why does it? <coughs> it's, it's the town's right of way. This is, this is the town's right of way. This is the town's right of way or the town's property. Well, they don't own it. That, this is, they so they don't the own orange is. Wait, <coughs> hey guys. Kind of how he has got back to the road. Yet. Everybody's talking all at once. Um, so if we're going to be on the same page with where we are and what we're looking at, it'd be good to do it together. Oh, okay, here's John. So this is a town right of way. Uh, this this road is a town. It's a class four road. Class, class four road, road. which is prop. And somewhere in here is the property line. Presumably, presumably. So I think Neil said that the town forest is on the left side yeah. of this road. Oh, it says no hunting. So whose property is on the right side? Do we know? I'm not sure who does on that. It's one of the adjacent property owners, I think. That it might be, um, it might be Jay Lacare. Yeah. I know he time. he owns property up here, um, and he said his property bordered mine on the top edge. So. Okay, are you on this road? Other end. Uh, other oh, the other road. end of Pekin. Okay. All right. Who we got here? So, hi. This is the town forest. How are you? Good. Good. And you are hey, Steve Frank. Steve Hi, Frank. Steve. Hey. Good. How you doing, Rick? You're all great, my guy. Yeah. Well. well <laughs> Watch you know. it, Rick. <laughs> okay. So know. what I understand is the town forest. Neil said starts down there at the corner, kind of at the bumper of John's car. The town. This is a class four road. I don't know what the. Yeah. And it's a, the town has a right of way on this road. Right. And mm -hmm. the town forest is on the left. And the property on the right is owned by. I, I don't know if it's Jay Lacare. I know that he owns property here somewhere. I'm not exactly. A woman owns this land here. There's a, a, a little woman spot. Owns this one? Okay. You go down further and hedges on the right and comes back out up there. Okay, so. Are these the mark? I wonder if these are the marks that Alfred put up for parking. Oh, okay. And so do we think, oh, this must be the... Yeah, this is the parking lot that he would... He would yeah, so yes, Jerome, these, are, the four these are look like the stakes that Alfred put in for a parking area, which doesn't... So the town forest is here? Yeah. Yeah. Goes on this side of the road back. Only on this side of the road. Yeah. Right, yeah. You go in there, and there's a gorgeous ridge that runs down. Beautiful. Yeah. How did the town come to acquire this? I don't know. I was curious about it. My guess is it was some kind of tax forfeiture because it just uh, sort of shows up on the yeah. town's record hmm. not all that long ago. Mm -hmm. And it came in different you know, The town's on this for like, I can remember. You know, That's a long time like, ago. Like, uh, they didn't just become a, they, back in the 80s, they took 
wood off it for poor people that had no firewood. 1980s? I, yeah, because I pulled some of the wood out for them and they blocked it up huh. and put it in the old town shed where the uh, where the town hall is, you know, not town, town office. Town office. Yeah, yeah. there used now. to be an old garage right. there at the town and that's office. that's what they filled that up with yeah. a mess of wood and gave yeah. it out to people that needed wood. Oh, here comes Alfred. But they might have gotten it from tax sale years ago, but they've owned it for a Hi long there. time. Hello. How are you? Get him. I think. So I think this is where you mark for the parking spots, and this is enough. This is enough area for what do we say? Six. Six parking areas. It takes 54 feet. 54 feet so per air nine, per nine foot wide. They want parking area nine foot. So if you're backing in here, it would be 54 feet. Okay. So, so for each for each wait a minute, so for each vehicle, it would be nine feet. That's right. And it would be like the, it, six in a row. Fit yes. in that. Yeah. And that's what that is. Uh, I didn't measure it. Yeah, okay, so it's approximate, was, yeah. When we had our first site visit here, this is sort of what we talked about. So I put stakes in relevant to that. Okay. Given the fact that six cars wasn't exactly yeah, we kind of determined yet. Right. <laughs> How far down is your house? Down that way? My house? Yeah. I'm on George Road, so, so you'd have wait, to go all, all the way, way through here, hit Peak and Brook, go up a little bit and take a lap. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Right. Can I just get your name for the record? Tyler Clark. Now, are you a property owner here? Yeah, right here, 602 Chapin Road. Okay, got it. Okay, so we're just looking at the parking area. Um, this is where the road commissioner, whoops, okay. yep, blocked it off, um, marked it off. All right, does anybody want to walk a little further and see it? Any trails in here at all? Well, just private ones, as far as I know. Just hundreds now. There's no official. I think just leave it. I don't know. We'd have to talk about that, I guess. Okay, now these are posted. No trespassing on, so it must be just that side, right? Have you ever been on the Blisson Town Forest Street? That's beautiful out here, isn't it? It's sort of bad idea, but not as expansive, because this is only oh, a 34 yeah. acre track, yeah. I think. Okay. Um, but, but the hope would be, I think, maybe I'm just thinking <laughs> myself, but um, those trails in Bliss Pond were laid out uh, wow. with the help of Eric Sorensen. Yeah. Who, I don't know if you know this? it. I don't know. Don't, sure. He's the most, one of the most important people in town. Because he's a... <laughs> oh, because there's all kinds of sticks and everything. Tree about to tip over. Well, I don't know how far we really need to go. Beautiful. You probably in here to see that. It's all beautiful stuff. Laid up. And just streamed across the road. They got apparently got washed out there. So I don't know how far we need, really need to go. The whole idea was to see about a parking area. So. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's really beautiful. Really beautiful. And John noticed that it must be having been mowed. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think so. I think it's just vehicles traveling on. So who would? So would somebody travel on this to get to which road? You can't take a regular vehicle because there's a huge gully. I think that you couldn't grow that good because there is no. Oh, okay. So you, but somebody with an ATV or something could, right? Yeah, not anymore. Not anymore. There's a washed out culvert. That's well, and there's uh, there's a spot as you're going down the hill on the right hand side. The bank is all eroded and it's all washed out. Uh -huh. Get down a little further and there's an old stone culvert there. 
and the stove culverts washed out. Okay. I mean, so it's not like you're going to take eight. So it's not like you're going to be able to take ATVs all no. the way through, right? Because of the washed out culvert and stuff. I mean, they might try it. I'm sure you can get through with an ATV or a dirt bike, but you know. Hi, Tom. Hello. Through with the. I don't know. I haven't looked at it for a while. You know what I mean? You can drive around an ATV. Okay, so. Mowing this. Anybody know? I don't think anybody is. I think it just it doesn't grow very good. There's not much fertility and there's lots of leaves. It looks like it's some All my roads that are in the woods, they look like that. If the, I don't mow them. Uh, like maybe maybe Jay. Jay owns land down here. His, his land comes out right down here. Is that Jay La Care? La Care. Yeah. Is this his land over here too? Do you know? Yeah. Well, I don't know uh, if he bought this land that the people own. I told you. His, you can see his marker right here on the right somewhere. And he owns all the way down to yeah, Meath Dale's yeah. land, I believe, on the yeah, right hand side. Right across from where the proposed parking area is. Okay. But not this far down? Yeah. yeah. So, Larry, are there any what, ash did he trees buy that here? Open lot? Uh, oh, then maybe he did. I, I, so maybe he I does. Maybe I've been fibbing you guys. He does actually. Yeah, yeah there are quite know. a few. That's I, okay, so I got it right. Yay, I got it right. <laughs> Score for me. I, 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 I got the name of a tree right, the ash tree. With, they have that. They have that. Um, ash borer. Ash borer. Yeah. Not yet. Not they're doing fine. Yeah. All right, let's head back. Neil, how, do you know how many acres the town owns? No, no, no. I'm on the order of. That's kind of off the top of my head. Tom, do you know how many acres the town? You know how many acres the town owns? I think it's twenty. Twenty. Maybe twenty point five or something like that. Okay. It's, it's, I know it's twenty. At least twenty. You can find that out pretty easy. We could ask. Yeah, we could ask Alfred that. And I guess the question I have too is would it just be driving at your own risk or are we going to? I mean, that's not a decision that we can make today, but I just wonder, are, is it going to be like, are, are we going to have to keep this parking area mode, or you just drive in and take your chances? I would imagine if I was doing that parking area, I would put down the ground for me my father. And cameras have been stolen from him. So I guess my question is, and I'm waiting for Alfred. The neighbors worried about runoff. I don't, I mean, it's already. Hey, Alfred. So the neighbors mentioned something about um, being concerned about runoff. Is the, would we be looking at just leaving this like this, mowing it? What, I mean. No, it would be gravel. Hi, guys. Hi. So Hi. Nice okay. to see you. Okay. Kelly Knapp, okay. what was your name? Kyle Booth. Kyle Booth. Yep. And what was your name? Kelly Knapp. So we just were looking at this is the, the road commissioner marked off where you can see these stakes, and we just walked a little further down. It's beautiful. What is the third, would this just be mowed? I mean, be graded and just mowed occasionally, or would there be any surfacing of anything? Well, I, I think it really depends on our intention. I mean, if we're going to plow it, yeah, then it's going to have to be graveled and you know, well, I don't... It's big enough for it to be for a truck to turn around. Yeah, the conservation commission has to. And uh, so it really, I don't know what you guys want before I can really answer. <coughs> well, I guess we'd have to see what the conservation commission is thinking. And like I said, this is. A site visit, so we just have to be careful what we yeah. talk about. So I don't. We'd have to obviously talk about this at a meeting at another time. Yeah. Right, yeah. but I don't know well, I, I think about plowing it in the winter. Can I just add a, a little part of this? I should, Neil, correct me if I get this wrong. 
but at the last conservation commission meeting where I had a long discussion about this though it as it resolved itself I, th I think we actually agreed that we didn't want to recommend pursuing the the, the winter access right that okay require all of that work and, and problems to just start small the smallest possible road access mm -hmm. you know a modest little well built uh, parking area here that you know protects from runoff and all and and then just and just just see I mean not if it so if it wasn't winter access that would mean it would be graded and so that it's level and mowed and would it be surface in any way so there's no intention to winter access? Have it winter well, I think that, you know, there's going to be times in the spring of the year that <laughs> so. people are going to want to come and park here. It's going to become muddy. It's going yeah. to become yeah. sloppy for well, people. Well, we can always, park, you know, I mean, get in and out. The, okay. state, the state says you can't go on trails certain times of the year when, the, when it's all muddy and all that. Somebody lost their Toyota you want to pursue here? See what you want to see. All right, so I think unless there's any more questions, we can head back out. So what do we do with our little one-lane road all the way out here? You have to turn around, and this parking area would have to be really much to turn around. Here? Okay, how about passing by when you meet cars on our road? Yeah, that's, that's something with Chapin Road itself is a very narrow class three road. I mean, when we meet neighbors, one of us has to pull over. Right, right. So we're well aware of it. And when, yeah. you know, when all know. this whole housing development was going in, that was a point that I brought up. And Margaret Bowen was on the review board back then. And Mr. Scribner that put all those houses in brought them $2,500, if my memory serves me correctly, right. the town, $2,500 to upgrade the road. I said $2,500 isn't going to buy a culvert and a load of gravel. No, that's what? actually not what happened. But, well, so I was at the hearing, and um, what Don Singleton did, who's a road commissioner, right. then, was he, by agreement, they got a written agreement, that the developer would pay for the upgrade cost because Don, the no, commissioner, right. did you're not right. trust that the developer, for whatever reason, was going to bring it up to pr proper standards to build the road to our specs, and he didn't want the back and forth because he opposed this development. So, so the compromise, <laughs> so the compromise was that the town would do the upgrading and then build the developer, and I think they held back the permits to the development until that bill was paid. Right, and then it's um, in everybody's so, deed, right? So this was this road with all that was decided before the development went in and the folks who bought into the development bought into it knowing <coughs> that their road would be that width it wasn't a surprise didn't happen after it was developed. yeah i'm not talking about so, from where chapin <coughs> road ends down through there i'm talking about all chapin the way road. back yeah, yeah. yeah. just like class about. three itself is pretty narrow yeah, well i know but blackberry the developer ridge had to develop four, right? the whole thing yeah, had to upgrade the whole thing that was there and i think it was seven thousand dollars yeah it or was nine thousand it, it was it still weren't a truckload of gravel and two culverts no it was not no he didn't want to do anything with the so, no. all and right i asked my remote yeah. yeah. what how much material yeah, there like. were some other issues he wasn't paying taxes on the lots he didn't sell there was all sorts of stuff he's uh Right right there. Yeah, that took his money and ran. Yeah, I think he did something. All right, you ready to oh, head yeah. back? Oh, yeah, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Alpha I was just telling what? somebody. Mark? He, uh, I think that regardless of what we do here, if it's going to be please, please quiet? parking area, we're going to have to cut some of these trees to, to widen that, at least from here to Blackberry Ridge, a little bit because it's just not. You're not going to get a car in there, in and out of there, different times of the year. So you would work with the um, tree warden who happens to be here, Neil Maker, yeah. to mark the trees, Neil. Yep. 
Yeah. Is that what your or the orange flags on this side are kind of like sort where you imagine? Where I would think would want to move up and cut back to. Yeah. Uh, so we cut that again, beautiful tree there. What we're going to do. And sure. If it's winter use, we probably have to go back even more than that. We'd have to cut into that bank and widen it out a little bit. Yeah. Well, and I think that's to be determined about the winter use. Right. You know, I mean, Larry remembers, and I, right. I do remember that discussion now. Regardless, I think, you know, at least some of the brushy, the smaller stuff would have to be cleared out. Mm hmm Just so everybody up to, knows. Up to this point, Alfred? Mm -hmm. Well, from no. here out to the... Yeah, because yeah, I saw a couple more orange. Are those ones you put on? Yeah. Okay. Just kind of like a little turnaround down there. I'm um, just wondering, like, what the Conservation Commission's needs, if that would, you know, that current area is that, you know, sufficient for a couple cars. I mean, that's what hunters do right now, so. Hmm. You know, instead of it's developing a, a new area. Are you thinking put it down there? Yeah, you know, where it kind of widens and then the class four road continues down, but there's like an opening right there that you Are you talking about on this road? Yeah. Just down another hundred yards or so. Do we want to go look at that? Mm -hmm. And it wouldn't really be like needed to so. be developed, but mm -hmm. if there's truly just going to be a few right. people using it here and there, that's what hunters do right now. Yeah. I don't know that we want to put a parking area that far in. Well, why don't we check it out and really make a decision based on what we see? Developing it would just be kind of using that natural land, given that it's a low enough population of people coming here, mm -hmm. you know. Well, why don't we just walk, if it's 100 yards, down. why don't we just walk down? down? Yeah, I can, I can point out where it is. Yeah. And this goes down the, the old class four road that we're on kind of there on the right. Yeah. And there's an opening on the left that if you were to come down to a truck or something, it's easy to come but would around. We, yeah, but would we want people driving further now? Yeah. Um, that's my question. Yeah. Why, I mean, would we, why, why would we want people to drive further down? Energy. Yeah. yeah. So, so one thing I'm considering is the conservation commission that's going to this is, you know, for a few people to use. And right. one of our concerns is that it might be not a few people, it's going to be a lot of people. And, They'd have know, to find, find it first. Yeah, I want you going right. <laughs> but, you know, if it gets up on it Google like it or something like that, you know, that's some of our major concerns. So, just while we're here, I figured I'd show an opening that's currently there. Is this it right here? This is this is one. Yep. And then there's one further down, but this is already kind of a little more open than the other part. <laughs> but I guess my question is that means that people have to drive further down this road. I mean they can currently drive down this road right now. So right. it's just a matter of awareness of it. There's a little bit of an issue, more of an issue with water runoff down this steeper slope. Yeah. Too. That because we if you it's not a huge one, but this it's is flatter. Rick, well, it's flatter there up hills, there. are hills coming down with dumping water into this, the parking area, and this is flatter. It doesn't have that problem. Well, this is going to drain into this. Yeah. You're going to end up draining down into this road. That's more what I'd be worried about. Well, it's fairly steep. what's the advantage to here? I don't know. I think the other site would be close to the road would be probably better, personally. That would more be level. Better. Yeah, it is. It never wants to run off. It's just seems more naturally open. Right. open. Well, yeah. it's flatter. Yeah. Yeah. But I think Rick makes a good point about the runoff. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, here the concern you talk about it. Concentrates in these wheel ruts, water. I think it's important that you see it. That would cut. That's what we're going to observe. Okay. So observe. Anywhere you start working on it. I've been here a couple times now. So, you know, I'm That's all we're doing. That's right. That's what this is. That's why this is called a site visit. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, okay. 
All right. Thank you for showing us. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's a good idea. Yeah, just figured while you're here. Yeah. Yep. No, it's good. Rick, did you take a picture of that? Should we just put down the road a little ways new? Um, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's Tyler's. That's beautiful. Yeah, okay. he's been working on that, yeah. so he's right down there. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. right. so that's been his kind of weekend yeah. project. <laughs> So you walk No, she doesn't have any separation anxiety like my dogs do. But if you go to the current town, the other town for us, the old West Church, no one goes. The bike riders go. No one goes. Hard to see exactly where the road actually Oh, really? I got the puffs going back out of it. I'm Denise Wheeler, by the way. I don't know if we've met. Nice to meet you. I think, yeah, I think I, yeah. Okay, I remember you, yes, but I couldn't remember your name. I've no, I've never been back this <laughs> No. Well, this is why it's nice to do it now because the summer it was just hot and bugged. Yeah. The trail hard. No, it's it is hard. Well, they're everywhere. Yeah, so there's one tree who's marked here. I thought I saw a couple more little orange shapes. Now, do you see a lot of wildlife like bear and moose? Do you? Very cool. Well, we're not fragmenting it. Fragmenting it would mean dividing it up into what? I mean, mass is from the standpoint of trying to get a car. From the point of view of a car, but it's for, dry, for walking. But you knew this was here when you bought the house, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's way more than nine feet. It's my first away when I first saw it. What is spectacular about it? Well, it's a, it's a beautiful hardwood forest, mostly. Uh huh. But with areas where, in season, it's just a sea of ferns and things. Uh huh. Um, and, a, and a spectacular steep ridge is more or less the west boundary okay. of it. Yeah. Um, and so it's in, a, you know, and it's like if you haven't been in the woods before and you like the woods, you know, you're going to get excited when you see it for the first okay, time. Okay, I got I to gotta <laughs> walk the whole thing sometime yeah. for sure. Uh, By the way, my friend Rob went and hiked by himself to the town forest trails yesterday. Make this roll, roll he recorded that it won't take you long. I don't want you to get on my side. that lower side. But he also just, you know, everything he said was so well signed. He didn't have any trouble finding his way around. <laughs> so so I, I wanted him to be kind of go out by himself without me uh -huh. to just see, you know, as a guinea pig to see if he could figure it out. And he said it was easy peasy. You know, the only thing he suggested was, you know, having more signage at the end of the North Spur, which we already know about, yeah. just to make sure. Because he, he could, you know, without the signs, adequate signage, he couldn't tell where it kind of ended. And he walked out there where he shouldn't have. Yeah. Well, I mean, I would think that the big you know, no trespassing sign right there is going to do it. <laughs> it would be when, a good by the time we're done this weekend, it will be well signed, I'm sure. Yeah. You get it? Now Tyler yeah, Clark, he's here, here, right? Look at the old town. Which one? Yeah. On the yeah. on what side of the road? Uh, on his house on the left. So he's the one with the granite mail post right there. Six oh two Chapin. And which one is he? 
Uh, he he's here, over. right? Yeah, he's, he must be with the straggler. I think he's wearing a green sweatshirt. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, green taller, okay. taller guy wearing a hat. And Dale LaFerrier, he doesn't live here. He lives on George Road. He's George and Road. And George Road, does this, so this road, if you took it all the way, this will go to Peak and Brook. To Peak and Brook. Pretty close to the George Road. Okay. The other side is just yeah. like a paved yeah. turnaround. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. already established. Yeah. Okay. The way okay. I came in. And Denise, his land does come, come, come up. up. Yeah. He lives on George Road, but he owns a lot of the land. If you go down on the. Now, who's this we're talking about? Oh, Fury. I mean, I've only been here a year. Yeah. A little over a year now. Oh, yeah. Hey, Denise? Yeah. Can I get a little. Here we are, right here. Uh -huh. um, this is the, so the no, Alfred, that right that here. Well, right. they run down all. This is Leonard. Okay, this is George Road that comes through here. Huh? This whole thing is George Road. Uh, there's another marker in the woods right here. Yeah, that might be it. I think it is somewhere in between those two. <laughs> yeah, because that's Not there's as far as the guy that around. owns property and a little like cabin right there and. <clears throat> and that's on this abutting side to the town forest. Uh -huh. Right. So he's kind of got back until it goes to Doug Lilly's, and he's the back uh, back perimeter of the town forest. Oh, gotcha. Where the yep. where the hill slopes up to like cliffs. Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, Doug's is on the top, and he's the farmer up on Lightning right. Ridge Road. Right. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this is alternative site three. Whoops, sorry. I told him no because. Well, of course you can't see it. So. Yeah. Now. I wish I had one. Well, I'm famous, all right. Right. We're just see oh, yeah. beautiful guys. This is not bad. You want to give each other a hug? Yeah, do you? I think it's easier right here. And it's deeper. Yeah. And it's nice and flat. Yeah. I just want to come yeah. here and I thought, what? Yeah, makes sense to me. Yeah, but what do I know? He's the one who should see. Right. Yeah. I was getting acclimated to kind of who lives where and... Well, that's good. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Yeah, no, that's fine. <laughs> now, Alfred, would people be able to, like, drive in, park, and well, then back? You know, so you... Them, I think it's wide enough, so it could... You could have parking on that side, parking on that side, and still have room enough in the middle for people to back out. Right. That makes around. sense, right? Yeah, this is a better Traveling site. Yeah. Okay. I, mean, I would that was, say site three is the smartest site. Conservation commission's but, right. Yeah, I mean, oh, that yeah. that was the Conservation Commission's choice. Okay, yeah. you you agree that this could be a better site. What does yeah. Neil think in the Conservation Neil. Neil and Larry. What do you think? The Conservation Commission, I guess, I thought Alfred had designated the parking area, but he, he, you guys designated the parking area down there. What about a parking area here? Yeah. Yeah. Easier, yeah. wider. Sure. It's, it's less, less trees than the end Yeah. yeah. You know, you'd have I don't, to take that. Yeah. I think we probably just kind of walked in and said, oh, that seems like the place. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah. Well, we took a picture of it, and where did he go? I don't know. <laughs> he held up a sign to show that this would be like alternate site three yeah. because we had this other site that the neighbors showed us yeah. and then the original site. So this and is Alfred site three. Yeah. The yeah. The the neighbor wanted this, this, small, this is a better this second a better site because it's further yeah. away from yeah. his yeah. house. Oh, uh, probably. Who? Who? Kyle Booth? Kyle Booth? Kyle Booth? 
Is that Booth Brothers Mill? Is it? So I got it spelled wrong then. Yeah, I mean, it, my you know, sense is that again, it would depending on how a ton of cars I don't they want to so. put. Because it's not like there's a destination with a view like the top of a map or something, right? It's all over Up in there, but I mean, I'm really pretty. Oh, yeah. Most people are just going to walk along the road. I don't know. The question is pretty walk. It's beautiful. It's going to go on these wheel rides. Have you ever been out there? You know. That's right. All right. We're ready to head back. No, no, it'll it'll cut it. What do you think, John? Jay's place, and then the next one up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think it's better. This is in the middle. Yeah. Not the neighbors the might have yeah. more yeah, of a concern. Tom, right. They just they bought that Tom place. Yeah. Well, they yeah. wanted it way yeah, further down. Yeah, yeah, he's on the trails yeah. committee. Yeah. You know, and you, you can see why this makes more sense as far as people. That's why I said, you know, way, way down there, people are going to have to drive all the way down, back and forth. You know, when the tow truck has to come in to pull them out. This is closer, right? So, All right, let's head back so we can get this done. You like this site? Huh? What about this, what about this site? Um, I think it's, I think it's, um, yeah. I, it certainly looks to be more level, the, right. the, the, the slope is a problem. I mean, there's going to be drainage. And well, what I mean is you have to probably stabilize this piece yeah. down and wait with a, with just a culvert? To keep, no, 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 just some kind of surface. You can drain it that way, Rick. If, well, no, you, it's not going to, you'd have to cut a huge amount out of here. I'm not saying you don't do it. I just tell you, what, you're going to get a natural tracking of water that way. I mean, from, from this road and from... Water runs downhill. It does. It's kind of going to go. Are you Tyler? You're not going to matter. Frankly, I don't think you're going to see much. Catch your hands on the water. Me neither. Minimal. Capture mostly the water in the back. How do you know? I mean, people aren't saying, you know, writing me emails saying, God, if only I could have a parking area, I'd come down here. I frankly don't think anyone's going to be here. I think it's going to be the grand tour. Well, we used to bring them in the other way. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, we used to come in there until the cobble go I mean, people got to find it first. Trailer I mean, Chickering Bog. The parking lot's empty all the time unless there's a special event. Right. All the time. And that's very well known. And that's a fancy place. And it has a very well known place. It has a destination. Yeah. Right. Really, yeah, you know, and it's promoted the body, by the Nature the, Conservancy. The big, uh, yeah, observation. Yeah. yeah, and it's empty all the yeah, time. Right. And that's usually it's on Lightning Ridge Road, which is pretty yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. And I don't. This is going to be way out. Word passes very well. Well, word, pa word passes, and that's all. This is going to be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you guys ready to head back? And you'll see. So we can adjourn. Just grow up. We're going to close the meeting. Yeah, we're going to. Are you guys ready to head back? So we can adjourn. Yeah, that's what I'm going to turn it off in the back there. Yeah. Come on. Come on, Cheddar. Come on, Cheddar. I don't know yet. We'll post it on the agenda. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. John, is there something tomorrow night? Conservation Commission is meeting tonight. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.